hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my review for the fourth installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger's Ties. Now, this one is going to be a little bit, this one's a little bit different than the other three because this one doesn't have the entire crew coming back, but it does have Jack Sparrow and, of course, Babosa coming back. Will Turner is no longer there and neither is Elizabeth. But in this one, we got some new cast members. We got um, Penelope Cruz playing Angelica, who's another pirate. And of course, we got the famous pirate of them all, Blackbeard. Now, in this one, there's basically a new age of pirates. You know, the new world's about to begin. And, you know, pirates are starting to become, I would say, extinct. And Jack Sparrow's still trying to find his place in the new world, if you want to call it that. And, um,. Well, there's a certain artifact that a lot of people are looking for, and it's the Fountain of Youth. So, you have the Spanish people, the Spanish course of Spain and all that, all those countries, looking for um, the Fountain of Youth, all that so happening. You have Jack Sparrow trying to, I mean, like I said, trying to find himself into the new world, and he gets caught up in a bit of a little love situation, if you will. Because um, his former, I would say maybe lover, comes back in his life, and it's Angelica, who's played by, by Penelope Cruz, and she's pretty much a fearless pirate. She's pretty much brave, fearless, badass. She she's also the daughter of Blackbeard, and Blackbeard has basically taken the Black Pearl and put it into one of those little ship model bottles, if you will. And uh, now Jack Sparrow is basically forced to help Backbeard get the Fountain of Youth for himself so he could stay, you know, immortal for life. And while that's happening, you have Babosa working for the Spanish trying to do the same thing. And then it becomes a race to see who can get to the Fountain first. Good movie. Not exactly the best one, but I still enjoy this one. This one, it's not as outdated as the other ones, but I feel this one kind of felt a little bit boring at, point, at certain points. I mean, there are certain things in here that are pretty awesome. I mean, we get to see some mermaids, so that you know for a fact that mermaids exist in this universe. See, listen to me, it's the same universe. Like all the Pirates movies, um, you know, there are other creatures out there, the fish, sharks, whatever. But in this one, you got to see some mermaids. And of course, they need a basically a mermaid's tear to basically make the fountain of youth actually work. So they capture a mermaid, and some of these mermaids, they ain't like Ariel. Mm -mm. These mermaids, they will kill you if they basically put you in their trance. You know, because they're so beautiful that they put men in trance, like how those old fishermen tell, say that they do. And then they trap you to either to crash your boat or eat your face off. So they capture one of the mermaids and they basically need her tear to make the Fountain of Youth actually work. Because it's basically water, one has to sacrifice themselves so the other one can live. And it becomes one of those kind of moments where they have to basically see who can get to the Fountain first. Unfortunately, Blackbeard gets it first, but a little bit of, um, little bit of notion that you know Jack Sparrow had decided to trick Blackbeard into drinking it so he can save his daughter's life because Penelope gets injured and the only way to save her is by drinking the, from the fountain of the youth so she can stay alive and of course Blackbeard dies at the end of that spoiler sorry like I said good movie for what it is not exactly the best Pirates movie I still had a lot of fun with this a lot, a lot of cool action scenes got to see some cool mermaids so that was pretty cool to see in the movie um the CG for that movie was you know it was okay it was wasn't great but it wasn't you know, terrible either. I still enjoy this movie because, like I said, I love the Pirates movies. I think they're all pretty good in their own specific way. You know, Jack Sparrow, still Jack Sparrow. You know, he's getting, uh, you know, a bit in age, you know, as Johnny Depp continues to get older. His character starts to become more or less great than he used to be. But let's see how the new one turns out. I'm still looking forward to it. Um, in this one, he, you know, he felt like he didn't really, to me, he didn't really feel like himself like he did in 1, 2, and 3. I, I don't know, maybe because he wanted to take a break, I don't know, but that's just how I feel. But like I said, I still enjoy this movie for what it is. It's not the best Pirates movie, but it's still up there. I think it's a little bit better than number 2, just a little bit. 
So I'm going to give this one a 70% out of 100. Like I said, I like it, but certain parts of the movie I felt kind of just drags on. And I felt like Jack Sparrow didn't feel like himself or Johnny Depp didn't feel like being playing Jack Sparrow at that point. But um, let's see what happens when I see the new one. Maybe it'll be different. But other than that, I still think it's a cool movie to go check out. You should go see all the Pirates movies because they're all unique in their own special way. So, there you go. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. If you've seen that movie. And how would you rate all the Pirates movies? For me, it would be 3, 1, 4, 2. That's how I'll put it up. But, um, for now, because I'm going to have to go see 5 pretty soon. So, let's see how that turns out. And so, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you and have a good day.